hello friends uh, in this video we will discuss a common format of a block so block is nothing but a particular line in the cnc program so cnc is computer numeric control that means a machine which can be controlled with the help of a computer and with the help of numeric data that is nothing but your cnc machine and for controlling the cnc machine you have to write down a manual part program and that manual part program is nothing but a stepwise instruction given to the machine so the instructions which are given to the machine that will be in that will consist of different lines and those lines are nothing but a block so now we will discuss how to write a particular block in a cnc program so at the start you have to mention that line with its number as the cnc program consists of various lines or the number of lines and suppose if you commit any mistake while writing the cnc program then it is very difficult to identify the mistake which you have done in a particular line and to identify that mistake we can we can uh, mention that line with a particular number suppose i have written one cnc program which consists of 50 line and i have made some mistake in a particular line so how to identify that line so one way i can give number to those lines and those numbers are nothing but the sequence numbers or the n numbers so in that case first of all you have to write down a letter n and then its line number okay so uh, for mentioning a particular block i have to write down letter n and then its number so i can start from say 1 2 3 4 5 6 or i can give the numbers like n5 n10 n15 n20 so here i am maintaining a proper difference of 5 even i can write n10 n20 n30 n40 n50 so in this example i am maintaining the difference of 10 so likewise i can give the numbers but there is one condition that the number should be in increasing order suppose you have written the line n10 after that you have to mention the line n11 n12 n13 likewise but you cannot write after n10 n9 n8 n6 okay so the very first number that is nothing but your sequence number and its format is capital n and after that its line number then the next thing is preparatory function so after mentioning the line number you have to mention the g codes g codes are nothing but the preparatory codes and which are useful for moving the cutting tool along x y or z axis or if you are working on on the milling machine you can move your table along x and y axis and spindle along z axis and for getting these movements you have to use different g codes those are nothing but preparatory codes so the various g codes like g00 the meaning of g00 is rapid feed that means you can move the cutting tool or say table from one location to another in rapid mode if you write g01 that means it is linear interpolation and which is basically used for machining action so in that case your cutting tool or the table will move very slowly because if you use g01 that means you are performing the machining action so after after mentioning the sequence number you have to mention the preparatory function after mentioning the preparatory function you have to mention the dimension words so suppose i want to move 10 mm along x axis in rapid mode in that case i can write g00 and then x10 so it denotes i have to move along x axis by 10 mm in rapid mode suppose i want to move 10 mm along x axis 10 mm along y axis so in that case i can write g00 x10 y10 so rapidly the cutting tool will move from its current location to 10 mm along x axis and 10 mm along y axis simultaneously 
and this can be achieved by mentioning the dimensions data then a feed rate so after mentioning the distance i have to mention the feed that means the speed at which i can move the cutting tool that is nothing but feed so i can mention the feed by using the format capital letter f and after that i have to mention the feed so here in this example it is written f10 that means the cutting tool will move with f and then either 10 mm per minute or mm per revolution so that you have to mention at the beginning of your program and according to that the feed will be given to your cnc machine then spindle function so for rotating the spindle i have to write down the spindle function and its format is s and then the rpm of spindle here it is written as 1500 that means the spindle of that machine will rotate with 1500 rpm next one is tool function tool function is used for calling the tool at a particular location so if i am working on a cnc lathe machine in that case there you can find a tool turret where you can store number of cutting tools and if i am working on a milling machine so in that case you can find a tool magazine where you can store number of cutting tool and while machining a particular workpiece you may require number of cutting tools and that you have to call and that can be done with the help of tool function suppose i want to call a tool at location number 5 in that case i can write m06 t05 so m06 is for calling the cutting tool and t05 denotes the location of that cutting tool the next one is miscellaneous function miscellaneous function is also known as m codes so m codes are basically used for controlling some machine actions like suppose i want to on the coolant in that case i can on that coolant by using m code suppose i want to rotate the spindle so i can rotate the spindle in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction by using the m code here it is written m03 so m starts for miscellaneous function or m code and 03 denotes the spindle will rotate in clockwise direction that denotes m03 so if i write m03 as 1500 that means the spindle will rotate with 1500 rpm so here on the on this slide you can see a particular block in your cnc program so that cnc program will consist of number of blocks and this is nothing but a particular example of that block in your cnc program so here i have mentioned n50 that means we can say it is a 50 number lines in your cnc program and after that you have to mention various g codes m codes then the dimensional data feed rate spindle functions and with that you can complete a particular block so hope uh, you understood all the things in a particular block in cnc program so thank you so much for watching my video